I'm Richard Southern in the 680 newsroom with a look back at some of the big business news stories of the past week. A little bit of a bumpy ride for stocks this past week, particularly on uh, Bay Street. And we saw a lot of weakness towards the end of the week with the turmoil in the White House finally starting to reflect itself on stocks. Investors worry that maybe some of Trump's inner circle might resign, perhaps further derailing his uh, economic agenda. Of course, the terror attack in uh, Spain also rattling uh, investor nerves to a certain degree. Gold passing the $1,300 per ounce mark for the first time in nine and a half months. Well, new numbers in on uh, just how much money you have to earn to afford a mortgage here in Toronto. And yeah, you need a lot of zeros at the end of your paycheck. Take a look at these new numbers from the red pin. To own a detached house, which now runs you about $1.1 million on average in Toronto, you got to have a household income of $200,000 a year. Average house above eight hundred grand, $147,000 a year is what you got to be pulling in. You know, the average condo above half a million now, and that means you got to be making above $92,000, so they say, and that's factoring in the condo fees as well. Well, the grand old lady started up for another year this past week. The exhibition back on the CNE and on her grounds yet again this year is the Hotel X. But yet again, nobody can check in. Now, this is the brand new hotel. They started construction of it back in early 2013. The building itself was completed in the spring of 2015, but construction actively continuing today. There was all sorts of issues with it. They unearthed some contaminated soil from an ancient landfill. There was some archaeological finds as well. And of particular note, uh, the company that's building it, Library Hotels, fired the original construction company, and there was all sorts of bad blood, which is still in the court system. It's a 700,000-square-foot hotel, though. It's going to have seven restaurants when it's finished, six bars, including a big rooftop bar, two movie theaters, yoga rooms, squash courts. Uh, the list goes on and on. It won't come cheap, though. Four to five hundred bucks a night for that hotel when it does eventually open. They're telling me it should be later this fall. Well, with this fly here at home, a major chain of British pubs has banned swearing at the bar. Yeah, Samuel Smith Brewery, a 250-year-old company. They own 200 pubs across the UK. They put in place a zero-tolerance policy against swearing. You cuss at the bar, you get kicked out to the curb. Would it actually work here in Toronto? We hit the streets to find out. We asked some drinkers what they thought. I don't think you should kick anyone out for using bad language. If you're really loud and obnoxious about it, then you should maybe tell them that quiet it down. Oh, I'm not, I don't, I'm not offended by profanities. I probably would have to watch my language in pubs if they did. There's no need to use profanity yeah. in, in, in public places. It, yeah. it really speaks volumes about your, your lack of other words. The reason some pubs are banning swearing is simple. They want a bigger clientele. They want to attract families in. Well, here's some good news for introverts and for those who like a good pizza pie. Little Caesars pizza out of the U.S., Coming up with this now, it's basically a pizza vending machine. It's called the Pizza Portal. You order your pizza online, like many people already do, but then when it's made, it's put in one of these slots, keeps your pizza warm. You come along with a three-digit code, enter it in, pick up your pizza without any human interaction. No chit-chat, just pizza. <laughs> no word if it's coming to Canada anytime soon. Finally, I want to show you this wacky new product that is real and that people are actually buying and which may make your back feel a little sore when you see it. It's called the Pony Up Daddy Saddle. It's a Velcro saddle that parents strap on to give pony rides to their kids. The company says it's to uh, keep parents' uh, shirts from getting pulled, gives kids something to hold on to, it sells for 25 bucks, and yeah, it might be a parent's worst nightmare. Back is killing me just looking at it. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.